Hello, my name is Mary Beth Brennan. I'm Abby Collier. And I'm Kara Shepard. Today we are representing Rockville High School. Our project was called Kindness for Christmas, and we involved a large variety of ages from high school to preschool by doing a Christmas card exchange. But first, the planning process. We started off with an idea from our FCCLA sponsor, Ms. Griffin. She suggested a faculty basketball game during school to help raise money to donate toys for children during the holiday season. Sadly, we waited too long and student council beat us to it. That meant we needed a new idea and a new plan quickly. After some brainstorming, we thought of teaching preschoolers at my mom's preschool a lesson on kindness. We went to Ms. Griffin and she helped advance the idea to a card exchange. Ms. Griffin's sixth period watches over the teacher's kids when they get out of the elementary and middle schools since the high school is the last to let out. We asked Ms. Griffin if they could make the Christmas cards for the Little Rocket preschoolers. <clears throat> they gladly did and made adorable Christmas cards. Now we had to deliver the cards and Tuesday, December 7th, that's just what we did. We went to Little Rocket's preschool to volunteer and give them a gift. The preschoolers started their day off with the craft making ornaments. Then it was circle time. We read a book, If You Plant a Seed by Kadir Nelson, that focused on the importance of being kind to others. After the book, we explained what kindness was, and the kids shared different ways to be kind. Our favorite was, you can be kind by telling your mom she's good at finding stuff. When circle time was over, they said a prayer and ate snack before going to music. While they were busy dancing and singing, we set the cards from Miss Griffin's class down on their desks. They came in and insisted we read each card out loud and show it to the rest of the class. After they calmed down a bit and put their new cards in their cubbies, we explained how kindness can be shown through giving and saying thank you. To say thank you to the big kids, as they called them, we made Christmas cards for them to color. The front had a Christmas tree and the inside said thank you for cards, Merry Christmas, with plenty of room for them to draw their own little pictures. <clears throat> we called them kindness cards and they were a success. When everyone was finished, there was a wide variety of colorful trees, names, and pictures in the middle. They were so excited for the big kids to see their cards. After the cards, we volunteered the rest of the day. They played outside, ate lunch, and had a nap, where we cleaned all of the snack dishes. You can see many of these activities on the board, but unfortunately, we had to block out most spaces for privacy reasons and parental consent. Then it was journal time, and finally time to go home. We had a great time volunteering and teaching the lessons on kindness, but we still had to deliver the cards to Miss Griffin's classes. Wednesday, December 8th, we delivered the cards. <clears throat> she said they were a hit there too, and the big kids had a great time seeing what the preschoolers had drawn for them. We did meet our goal of spreading Christmas joy and teaching preschoolers about kindness. Along with this, we followed the first FCCLA purpose, to provide opportunities for personal development and preparation for adult life. We had chosen this purpose because in our research, we found that being kind increases one's ability to form meaningful connections, which can help kids later in life. We also found that kindness can prevent bullying, which can lead to damage to someone's self-esteem and confidence. Remembering our original budget of $30, we actually spent nothing. With Mary Beth's extra craft supplies at her home, a book from the public library, and the printer at school, we were lucky enough to have no expenses. In conclusion, even though our original plan didn't work, we still recovered and found a great opportunity to teach the future of our community a simple life lesson and give them memories they hopefully will never forget. Looking back at our project, we see it as a success that could use improvements. For one, we should have started planning earlier in the year. We also thought of the idea of making the card exchange bigger and making it between the elementary and high school instead of just one preschool class. However, we are glad we chose this class because Ms. April, their teacher, said they have been using the lessons on kindness ever since we left. Overall, we had a great time and we wanted everyone to have kindness for Christmas. And we thank you for your time.